I am back from my trip. I didn't get to um, like show any footage or anything of when we returned back to London because we were just we just went on a coach bus back to London and it was pretty like we just went back, we packed our bags, and then we went to eat. And then we went to bed. It's like, so that last day in London, like I wanted to go to like, see if we can go to like Buckingham Palace and London Bridge. But honestly, like it, it was so cold in London. Like I hate traveling when it's so cold and when it's raining. So I'm like, you know what? I mean, I'll, I don't know if I'll go back to London again. Like London was okay, but like, I don't know. Maybe I need to experience it in the summertime. Like, I don't know, I wanted to see where the queen resides because, you know, I'm a queen myself and I will be staying in the building with her. I wanted to see where I will be relocated, okay? But, um, yeah, so we didn't get to go see Buckingham Palace, which was a shame. But, I mean, the whole experience was just really good. Like, when we went to back, when we got back to London, we were just so tired and... Yeah, and by the time we got back, it was probably, like, around, like, 6, 7 o'clock London time. So, yeah, like, we're not trying to venture out and, you know, take taxi or subway or whatever to go see um, those monuments. So, maybe another time. But overall, my trip <laughs> was amazing, okay? Like, even though we spent, like, a day or, like, half a day or a day and a half in some places... It still gave us a feel of like what each country has to offer. So like I know which countries that I want to go back to and I know which countries that I don't want to go back to. Obviously Paris just, like Paris blew my mind. Like I just don't understand. Like it just, I knew it was gonna be amazing, but it just exceeded my expectations. Just, just like, on on the different buildings like the architecture like just just everything like there's things made out of gold like come on like clearly this is my city i love gold right and when we went to see like the mona lisa um in the louvre uh we went to this um i think it was like king louis or king henry like one of the king's like um rooms and they had like you know the crowns um there and like their jewels and what they wore and like the room was gold okay i was in my heaven because the room was all gold i love gold with like a strong insane passion and it was just i was like i just want to stay here i don't want to go see the mona lisa anymore i just want to stay in the land of gold right so um yeah, but Paris was everything and more, like, so, so fun. We mastered the Parisian subways. Like, we just knew where we were going. Like, so it was just a great experience. So obviously Paris was the number one spot that um, that I loved. Um, second was Germany because, you know what? Like, I've never really heard anything about Germany, like, just tourist-wise or, like, anything like that, like, to go, like, a place to go and see. So it was very beautiful in Germany, and um, they have, like, a lot of, like, museums as well as all their buildings have, like, this nice architecture. Um, and it's just so, like, in some spots in Germany, it's, like, very old world, and then some it's, like, modern. Like, it's ridiculous that, like, everyone's driving an Audi, a BMW, or a Mercedes-Benz, and obviously Volkswagen. Um... The police cars are BMWs, the taxis are Mercedes-Benz, so, you know, I mean, not a shabby place to live. Um, and Austria was the next place that, um, the, it was um, the top three for me, the third place that I, I really liked. It was just very old world, very calm, very, like, I just, ugh. <laughs> like, this European experience was amazing and if you get to do it if you get to travel like honestly just save your money like and it, it was a lot like there was the most amount of money that i've spent i think my car was more than that but um it was the most of money the most amount of money that i've spent um and it was just so worth it for like a week like 10 days in europe i feel like it was just so worth it so if you want to do something like 
go save your money okay like even though i know like i'm always shopping all the time and you know it's hard to just you know put back that blouse or put back that concealer right but you need to save your money so you can go on these excursions and view out of your city out of your country wherever you live like just go and explore like new places and yeah it's just like such a uh, it's amazing like and just like getting to know like different cultures and like you know how people are and stuff like it was a really really awesome trip and like don't let anybody tell you you can't do it because i know a lot of people i mean like no one said i couldn't go to paris but like when i said i was going or when i said like i was planning to go like this year like not a lot of people believed me, right? And I'm just like, and I'm the type of person, like, I love proving people wrong. I'm pretty sure everybody does, right? So, sure, I'm like, you know what? I always said I was going to go to Paris by the time I'm 25. I can't believe, I'm turning 26 this year, but still not 26 yet. And I can't believe I actually did it. And, you know, people will think, oh, this and that and whatever. But it's like, honestly, if you really stick your mind to something and you save your money and work hard, you know, it pays off and it, like it was just such an amazing experience i don't regret anything went with my kentucky group no regrets hashtag hashtag right so everybody should go and visit paris like paris is just and people say like you hear in movies oh like there's nothing like paris and blah 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 and you're just like oh what's this hype about paris there is a lot of hype in paris and you know with their <laughs> They're French macaroons. Oh my gosh. I had a chocolate one and literally like almost died, almost fell over, almost, you know, it was the best thing that I've tasted in life. Like it was so good. I could eat them all day. <laughs> Just all day. So yes whatever you want to do don't let anybody tell you that you can't and just not even just traveling but just any dreams that you have like don't let anybody say that you can't do something or oh this is ridiculous or oh your timeline is ridiculous and blah 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 oh you don't have the money to do this you'll find a way god will provide and you know you'll make it through so you know, go explore don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything and your dreams will come true